Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all a flip book that I made. Um, it's been a while since I've made one of these. And I just wanted to do something that I haven't done in quite some time. So I'm like, you know what, let me go ahead and make a flip book real quick. So this is what I did. And there is an applique there. Um, we have some fabric rosette there. Some paper flowers. I use this really cute ballerina. Uh, paper doll that I had in my stash. Um, I also used uh, this frame that I was gifted a while back. I've added some of the little flowers. The applique was also um, gifted to me as well. Um, I have a little birdie in there. I've added some crackle paste so that I can have kind of like a distressed uh, edge happening and distressed paint all over it. Um, and I've also added some of that crackle paste on the flowers themselves. Hopefully you guys um, can see. It's super cute. I think it came out really, really cute. Um, <clears throat> and this is more or less what the spine looks like. And I've added some of the crackle paste just along the little edges here and there. And it opens up like this. And we have a little flip uh, page element right there so that you have like a little tuck spot. You also have a little tuck spot right here. Um, here I've made a hidden pocket. So it kind of is like this. And then you kind of slide it down and you can reveal a little area where you can go ahead and um, I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to use this on the other spots. But then you can just go ahead and cover it right back up. So it's like a nice little hidden pocket right there. And this is what the inside looks like. So on the first um, page, I have the same element. I have a hidden pocket there. You can just go ahead and remove uh, the card or add your cards from there. And you can just move it either by using the bird or by uh, grabbing the little flap. This little flap right here has some lace trim going along the bottom. And it opens up like this. You have a tuck spot here in the back of it, which I've added some things there. This is just a little journaling card. Here we have another little tuck spot, little pocket there. This flips up. This flips up, and then you have more uh, spaces there. Oops more spaces there to um, add more pockets. So it's got a lot of little tuck spots in it. And then on this, on the two center pages, I wanted to do kind of like a window area. So that's kind of what I did. I cut out um, this little window space here. I added one of the journaling cards in the back. And then this is a little pocket that you can add things to. So you have the width of this window here to more or less add things. And I did the same thing on the other one so you can add um, little goodies, little tags, anything that you wish there. And then on this one here, um, I more or less left this one plain and uh, pretty much you can add a picture, you can add anything on it that you wish um, and then it flips open more or less in the same style. We have again uh, the little touch spots there. We have another pocket area here and I might continue to add more things to this um, Depends on how I feel moving forward. And here's another pocket area there. And then again, it folds onto this. It folds onto this. This is the back page here. It's got a little pocket area as well so that you can add some additional little goodies here. And overall, I think it came out really, really cute. Um, on the bottom of this, it says, always take time to smell the flowers. And I definitely believe that to be true. So, more or less, this whole little um, flip book that I made is inspired by um, that very same quote. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. This was a really, really quick share. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.